if she only knew what we were about to do. All right, you boys, get Keys, keys, keys. Got it. What's up you guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of exotic agent guys I am getting so many subscribers on here I want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for subscribing and watching my journey as you can tell I've got my graffiti garage in the background and I've got the Polaris slingshot for those of you guys who are new to the channel We are doing huge things to the Polaris slingshot at first I thought I was gonna sell it, but now I'm actually going to wrap it so it's black right now and I am gonna wrap it a certain color. However, I'm not telling you guys what color it is yet. This was quite an experience to take off all of this stuff right here. We've got all the parts laid out there and it is ready to go. The only problem is, is that we don't have the wrap in yet. So I've been waiting on that. It's been almost a week. I guess they take a little bit of time. They're out of stock on a lot of colors, but I got the color that I wanted. Boys, this is going to be huge. I can't wait. But without further ado, this is a cold startup on a 2017 Polaris Slingshot. Now I know it's not an exotic car, but just for all of you new viewers out there, let me give it a rev. There's just something about the player slingshot that just never ever gets old and that's why I just I can't sell it It's so difficult to sell it you guys on a side note going to SEMA this year November 1st through 5th Richard Rawlings if you guys know who that is is created an amazing slingshot I personally can't wait to see what he's done with it He's got big tires and that's all they've really told us but also after that we are going to Moab so if you guys want to join, hit me up, drop me a DM. On another side side note is that tomorrow we are flying into Illinois to see the Jeep Gladiator, boys. I can't wait. That thing is completely done. We've got the rims, we've got the tires, we've got an interior. I'm going to be doing a ton of new videos on that. We're going to be shipping that car to Arizona now. I know in my last video I said I was shipping it to Vegas, but I'm actually gonna ship it to Arizona, and then we're gonna drive it to Vegas for SEMA, and then from SEMA, we are going to Moab. So we have a lot of content coming for the Jeep Gladiator. So make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button to stay on this journey. I can't wait. I haven't even seen it myself. I haven't even seen it. So I am so pumped to show you guys the 2021 Jeep Gladiator, my edition. <sighs> But honestly, you guys, what do you guys think about the Polaris Slingshot? One thing I have been debating is that I need to change these tires. I need to take them black. I don't like this. I like the stock look, but they gotta go black. And the far as the back one, this huge guy, that needs to go black as well. And the C300, she's working good. Wifey had some issues with it. We went and got some new tires. We got a new battery. But now we have another issue. I cannot believe it. Service B in 25 days. Are you kidding me? It's one thing after another after another. The Mercedes is never ending. I have never seen so many issues all at once with a car. However, it's a very nice car. It has a Sport 2 package. It's the C300 with a Sport 2 package. I love this car. She loves this car. We're gonna sell it. But now that we went to the dealership and they have markups of 15,000 to 25,000 over MSRP, it's unbelievable. Just pulled the slingshot out. Look at that beauty. She looks so good. What I just realized, you guys, if you haven't seen Death Race, you guys should go check it out. It's a super cheesy movie on Netflix. But this car looks just like Death Race, where it's all completely off, all the plastics are off, and then we need like some metal spikes coming out of the front. Once again, SEMA, Richard Rawlings is building something similar. It is going to be sick, but this is my version of the Death Race car with nothing right here. It's been way too long since we've taken a rip in this thing. <laughs> I'm gonna take you guys for a rip in the slingshot, show you a little bit. I haven't really shown you guys a whole lot of driving experience. We're gonna to go to this place called Papa Go Clabs. I've been there a couple times. If you guys haven't been there, it's a super sick place. But the slingshot's a little difficult to film in because you're gonna hear all of this wind noise. Uh, so, headphone users, I'm warning you guys. So we officially just passed the cop and she didn't pull me over yet. I think she might still be back there but I'm missing half of the car. So apparently she just didn't care today enough to pull me over, which is a good thing. 
But uh, if she only knew what we were about to do. All right, you boys, and we're off. like that we have landed at a place in the middle of the desert we've got nothing but desert sand surrounding us we've got beautiful views in the background and right there we've got the mama of all mamas the polaris slingshot check it out boys she looks so beauty in the arizona sun we need a little wash and we probably need to put the back end on but other than that she looks good views on views now I want to apologize to you guys in advance it is very hard to hear me in the player slingshot because we've got all this wind noise but you guys kind of get the idea it's open air concept and it is fast that back tire if you don't have traction control it just kind of skids on you like you're on ice and that is why I love the player slingshot but it's really really hard to film in it but man oh man does she look good she looks so good also i want to mention to you guys if you guys are looking to rent the slingshot i have it on turo link in the description below hit me up i'll give you a good deal you guys can tear up all of these roads back here but don't get a ticket actually one guy got a ticket and well it didn't turn out too well for him for many of you guys who are asking if i do real estate in this car the answer is yes i actually have showed up to several clients in this car and they love it they want to take a ride in it it's not even a ferrari but they actually like the slingshot a lot and when they get in it they're like wow now i understand how amazing it is so i'm not here to sell you guys on the slingshot i'm just here to give you guys the experience through myself of owning the slingshot a little bit different than any other older person owning the slingshot would portray on camera so i'm kind of giving it a little bit more of a tasteful young youth approach at speed <laughs> oh, okay we can't do this because we are in a residential neighborhood i have a reputation i, reputation I have to keep and I'm gonna show you guys some houses while we're here. So, let's go. All right, you guys, so after being in California, I wanna show you that some of these houses here are in South Scottsdale. Now, South Scottsdale, these houses were built in the 1950s for any of you guys that truly care. And just a quick side note, I'm gonna bring a little bit of real estate knowledge to you guys, is that in California, these houses right here are a million dollar homes. Some are $2 million homes. These houses back in 2016 were purchased at around 280 to 300 thousand dollars, and let me tell you guys, now, before COVID, and then even during COVID, it got even crazier. But these houses now are about 800 thousand dollars. How nuts is that? 800 thousand dollars. Guess what, boys? I bought in the early days, and well, I'm doing pretty good. I'm not here to brag, you guys. I just wanted to bring you guys knowledge of what's going on in South Scottsdale for all of you guys who have been wondering. What's the real estate market like here? What are the taxes like? They're super low compared to California, but a lot of construction is happening here as we speak. If you take a look over here, we've got a little bit of a remodel going on. Looks awesome. And that house is amazing. That house is amazing. There's a lot of opportunity happening here in Scottsdale. This house right here, I actually contacted the owner. I want to make an offer on that house. Why? Because it is distressed. So distressed properties equal money, baby. 
as we pull up here, I want to show you guys, I don't want to get too close to these guys' house, but look at the remodel that's going on here. This house is actually for sale for 2.2 million, and then the neighbors are deciding to do it too. So these are a one-story house that they built on top of, and well, you know what they say, if the neighbor's doing it, you got to do it. All right, you guys, that's been another episode of Exotic Agent. To all the new subscribers out here, thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. It means a lot. Tomorrow we're catching a flight. We're headed to Illinois. We're going to update all of you guys on the Jeep Gladiator. It is going to be so sick. So please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.